Well, last night here at the windmill blind, we heard a lot of shooting and we were a little concerned about that much shooting in a short period of time. It almost sounded like a panic situation. Well, 20, 30 minutes later, word came back it was a panic situation. We had a good customer. He's been here many times and uh, he had quite the situation on his hand and it's a story worth repeating and, and telling over again. Scott, come on over here and tell us what happened last night. Well, I was in the windmill blind. Uh, the pigs were grouping in front of the corn. Uh, it was about a 30, 40 yard shot. I took the shot. I had to wait for the elk and the water buffalo to move out of the way. When I shot, a pig went down. I went down and looked at it. And as I went down to look at it, it started to charge me. back up at me and started to charge me. As it charged me, I fell down here in the brush in the grass. Uh, it came up on me onto where my boots were and I was able to kick it in the head and I unloaded my sidearm into the pig. Uh, I've been out here eight, nine, ten times. I've never been charged before, but uh, it was a very, very scary situation. It's dark outside. It's the night hunt. All you have is the moon guiding you, and you don't know how big the pig is. I mean, Paul, it was scary. You know, those things are thick, and those things are mean, and I, I, I tell you, I've never had a, a, a hog run at me grunting and snorting, looking to kill me because I heard him. So once he quit moving, What's going through your mind? What are you doing? Well, the first thing I did was, after I unloaded all my rounds, I scooted down into the hole over here and sat there for a minute because I was in shock of what just happened. I caught my breath, caught my bearings. He wasn't moving anymore. I left him here. I went back to my blind, grabbed my rifle, grabbed another clip from my gun, and called Matt. Well, you know, I was noticing the blood spot over here, but I now that you told me that, I wasn't sure what this brown slug trail mark was about <laughs> going down to the ditch here. I, th I think I got an answer without well, even asking a question there, Scott. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It, it could have been there. It could have been there. Well, man, I, I'm glad you survived that one. It made a good story, and thanks for sharing that with us. Not a problem. Not a problem.